Being filled with the Holy Spirit is one of the most profound experiences a believer can have. It's a transformative encounter that empowers Christians to live a life aligned with God's will, bearing spiritual fruit, and walking in victory. The Holy Spirit, often referred to as the Comforter, Counselor, or Advocate, is God's presence dwelling within us, guiding, teaching, and helping us live in Christ-like ways. To be filled with the Holy Spirit is to experience an overflow of His presence, power, and love in our lives. This journey involves seeking God earnestly, living in obedience, and being open to the Spirit's work. Understanding the role of the Holy Spirit. The first step in being filled with the Holy Spirit is understanding His role in the life of a believer. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit to His disciples, saying, And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another Advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. John 14, 16-17 This promise was fulfilled on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit descended on the disciples, Acts 2, 1-4. The Holy Spirit as our Helper and Teacher Jesus referred to the Holy Spirit as the Helper and the Spirit of Truth, John 14, 26. The Spirit guides us into all truth, teaching us and reminding us of everything Jesus has said. To be filled with the Holy Spirit means to allow Him to be your guide and teacher in all things, leading you into deeper understanding and intimacy with God. Receiving the Holy Spirit through faith. Receiving the Holy Spirit is a matter of faith. The Apostle Paul writes, Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Galatians, the Holy Spirit is not something we earn, but a gift we receive by faith when we trust in Jesus Christ. It is through faith that we are justified, and it is through faith that we are filled with the Spirit. A call to surrender. To be filled with the Holy Spirit requires surrender. The more we yield our lives to God, the more room we make for the Spirit to fill us. Romans 12.1 urges us to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This act of surrender opens the door for the Holy Spirit to work more powerfully in and through us. Walking in obedience. Obedience is a key to being filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 5.32 says, We are witnesses of these things, and so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey Him. As we walk in obedience to God's Word and His commands, we align ourselves with His will, creating an environment where the Holy Spirit can work freely. Prayer and fasting is a means to be filled. Prayer and fasting are spiritual disciplines that can help us be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit's presence. In Acts 13, 2-3, we see the early church fasting and praying, and as a result, they were directed by the Holy Spirit. Prayer keeps us connected to God, and fasting helps us remove distractions, making us more receptive to the Spirit. The importance of a renewed mind. Being filled with the Holy Spirit involves a transformation of our thinking. Romans 12, 2 commands us, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. As the Holy Spirit fills us, He renews our minds, helping us to think and act according to God's Word rather than the ways of the world. Walking in the Spirit. Paul encourages believers to walk by the Spirit in Galatians 5.16. Walking in the Spirit means living daily under the Spirit's influence, allowing Him to guide our decisions, attitudes, and behaviors. As we walk in the Spirit, we produce the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5. 22 to 23. Being filled continually. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is not a one-time event, but a continual experience. Ephesians 5.18 instructs, Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. The Greek verb here suggests an ongoing process. Be being filled with the Spirit, continually seeking more of Him in our lives. Speaking in faith. A significant evidence of being filled with the Holy Spirit is the ability to speak in other tongue and fill with the Holy Ghost, Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, Matthew 12, 34. As we are filled with the Spirit, our speech will reflect His truth, encouragement, and love, edifying those around us and glorifying God. Worship as a gateway to the Spirit's filling. Worship is another powerful way to invite the filling of the Holy Spirit. 
Ephesians 5, 19 to 20 encourages believers to speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks. Worship aligns our hearts with God and opens the way for His Spirit to move. Fellowship with other believers. The Holy Spirit often works through community. In Acts 2, 42 to 47, the early believers devoted themselves to fellowship, breaking bread and prayer, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. When we gather with other believers, the Spirit moves among us, filling us as we encourage one another in faith. Expect opposition, but walk in boldness. Being filled with the Holy Spirit doesn't mean life will be free of challenges. In fact, the enemy often attacks those who are walking in the Spirit. Yet, as the Spirit fills us, He gives us boldness to face opposition. Acts 4.31 says, And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. The Spirit emboldens us to stand firm in our faith. Seeking the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is a deeper dimension of being filled with the Spirit. In Acts 1.8, Jesus said, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses. This baptism empowers believers for service and witness, equipping us with spiritual gifts, 1 Corinthians 12. The fruit of a Spirit-filled life. The ultimate evidence of being filled with the Holy Spirit is a transformed life. Galatians 5, 22-23 outlines the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities are the natural result of the Holy Spirit's indwelling, and they are the marks of a life lived in submission to God's Spirit. Okay guys, thanks for watching, comment below, like, share, and subscribe. See you soon, hope you guys learned something from this.